So I want to take a minute and talk to you about heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Many patients find this a confusing topic. In essence, in contrast to heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, this is a heart that's functioning conceivably normally, but still yielding heart failure. I think the best way to think about this is think about your heart as having two phases to how it functions. One is pushing blood out to the body, doing what the body requires by delivering blood. The second phase, which is just as important, is sucking blood in to fill for the next beat. It's almost like a bellows you pump to pump air to get a fire going. That phase of bringing blood in is critically important. In patients who have a normal heart, the heart functions like a smooth, thin-walled balloon filling smoothly with blood for the next beat. As they age, many of us develop hearts that are more sensitive to sodium, as if the heart becomes like a, a tire with thicker walled rubber. It doesn't, doesn't quite fill quite as smoothly. In heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, it's like a tin can. It's very stiff, not very malleable. And it's this phase deficit, this inability to fill appropriately, that causes symptomatic heart failure in these patients and patients like you. Most critically, because of this, People who have heart failure with preserved ejection fraction or dihalic dysfunction are incredibly salt sensitive. We'll talk about that more in clinic, but I want to provide you this overview because it's a critical deficit in understanding that affects many of our patients.